Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 4 Episode 14 to see how accurate all the signs of technology in this anime really are. This seems like plot armor. Maybe there's something in the manga I'm missing. Like, let me know if you guys read it. Is there any other introduction? It just seems that the first person and only person that they encounter in South America just also happens to be a expert childhood prodigy geologist. And frankly, how they survived on their own in the rainforest with blurry vision. She, she'll live through any apocalypse. That's more impressive to me than anything else. Yeah, that's fair light. We've seen this before. It's a zinc ore, which is fluorescent, and that's a really cool use of it. Certain molecules are fluorophores, which means they're able to absorb light. When that happens, electrons temporarily jump to a higher energy level. The unstable high energy electron can't be in that state forever, and it will naturally return back to equilibrium. When the electron goes from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, that absorbed photon of light is released in what we can observe as fluorescence. I would say it's usually in the ultraviolet or some visible spectrum because we can observe this with the naked eye. So, 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 so. こちらの位置でも見えるのか？電波のメダル。知ってんだろ電波？ああ、携帯で話すときに打つ。空飛ぶ見えないビームだろ？その電波を四方八方に打ち抜けると物に当たったとこだけ跳ね返って戻ってく
And a European expedition ship is immense because the size difference of the ships. Even with the additional sails, Senku is much faster. The important detail that Dr. Dino pointed out is the ratio of the surface area of the sails to the volume of the boat. Back in the day, people knew this to be true even if they didn't understand how it worked. Today, we can use E is equal to MC squared to mathematically represent all of this if you really feel like it. Einstein's theory of relativity was the third unified theory in physics. E is equal to MC squared unified mass and energy as well as space and time. The first unified theory goes to Isaac Newton with F is equal to MA, unifying gravity and astronomy. The most recent goes to Paul Dirac with his equation unifying quantum mechanics and special relativity. Newton was the first, Dirac built off Einstein, and who Einstein built off of is a little more unknown. His equations represent the second unifying theory in physics, unifying electricity, magnetism, and light. He is credited with being the first to understand chaos theory and emphasize the butterfly effect. He is also known for presenting the first durable color photograph in 1861, and showed that any color can be produced with a mixture of the three primary colors, red, green, and blue. Also the basis for color television. When Einstein visited the University of Cambridge in 1922, he was told by his host that he had done great things because he stood on Newton's shoulders. Einstein replied, no I don't. I stand on the shoulders of James Clark Maxwell.